values provide a positive direction for change. Often, early on, it's about don't do this, don't do that, don't do, don't do that, don't do that behavior, stop doing that, don't look at that. And early on, sometimes that might be all that someone trying to get into recovery uh, can handle. Eventually, it's not enough to not do one thing, to not do something. For example, I get a couple in here and the guy's learned, don't argue and get defensive. And so when his wife says something and he feels, he feels within him this desire to argue and be defensive, he won't give in to that. So he just does this. So, okay, good on you for not being defensive. <laughs> That's not getting you where you want to be. It's not enough to know where I don't want to go. I need to know where I do want to go. This is where values come to play. So I asked that guy, what kind of husband do you want to be? And, and I'll even maybe sometimes give him a list of core values to look at and choose from. And he might say, I want to be a husband who's compassionate, faithful, honest, and loving. Great. That sounds great. Now, what would it look like in your body to be those things right now? How could you embody compassion, faithfulness, honesty, and love right now? How can you apply that not just to the words you say or don't say, but the look on your face, your tone of voice, the posture of your body? And they go, oh, and they do that. Game changer. Game changer. This is also true for betrayed partners. You've got to set a boundary. You want to learn to, to speak up for yourself because you realize you've been, you know, railroaded for all these years. And these are words I've heard from betrayed partners before. You're not going to be a doormat anymore. But then what happens, I've heard from partners is in their efforts to use their voice, they end up sounding like someone they know they're not doing things that they, that aren't true to their, their character, feeling shame later, having to just convince themselves they shouldn't feel shame because he had it coming or now's their turn to use their voice. And here's what I coach them is, hey, use your voice in a way that also corresponds to your values, right? If you do that, you are still absolutely able to set a boundary, to speak your truth, whatever it is, but you're going to walk away feeling so much cleaner, so much better, uh, so much less noise in the system, right? And you get to become more of what you like and value about yourself. The same is true for the addicted partner, the one who did the betraying who's in recovery. When you act on your values, when you embody them and you let them actually drive behavior, you are becoming more of that person you want to be. So it's not only giving your partner what they need, it's not only helping your relationship move toward repair and connection, it is helping you continue to, to develop in that person you want to be. Mm -hmm.